the forecast for your area. Expect a chance of thunderstorms Thursday through Saturday with temperatures in the 80s on Thursday. And it's time now for your tropical update on the Weather Channel. And I'm meteorologist Mark Mean Cuso. System that was in the Gulf of Mexico has really pumped the moisture into the south. Let's show you where it is right now. It's moved inland, and there you can see on our visible satellite picture the big swirl heading its way on up through Mississippi. That's a, the uh, low level circulation center that came ashore last night right along the uh, coast of Louisiana. But this uh, feature has been a big moisture producer as it's pulled its way slowly towards the north. Looking at the radar, heavy rain, tropical downpours headed towards Atlanta. Meanwhile, to the west, the moisture is spinning around a low pressure stationary in the upper atmosphere, and that has produced some widespread problems in southeast Texas. Here you can see that the rainfall that fell in the Florida panhandle, where you see the yellow, over four inches of rain up to the early morning hours. Other place that's seen the very heavy rain, southeast Texas, right around the metro Houston area, we've seen the storms fire up. Hardest hit south of the area of Missouri to Colorado County. We early had tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, and over towards College Station, O'Brien reports of water covering the roads here with two, three, four inches of rain in a very short period of time. As we uh, take a, a closer view of the, the Houston metropolitan area, we've kind of lost the cities here, but look at the thunderstorms popping on up. In the Atlanta area, here comes the rain. The tropical moisture is moving in. And as we show you a closer view of the city, oh my, what a tough commute home. Already big time delays at the airport, getting close to an hour. Torrential rain, so these are tropical downpours that cause some big puddles on the roads. Hopefully you can get out of work before too long because you're going to get stuck in a big traffic jam. Now as we get you away from all this tropical moisture over the southeast, we ought to head out to the Atlantic. And here we see a tropical wave bearing down on the Lesser Antilles here. And as we show you the names of the islands, you can see the names uh, Guadalupe, Dominica, Martinique, and down towards St. Lucia, Barbados, and Grenada. What we see uh, on this picture, the uh, cold cloud tops and the oranges and yellow. And this is where you probably see some pretty heavy rain and some strong gusty winds with squalls, heavy downpours, thunderstorms. Well, this is all headed this way westward. You know anybody are vacationing, honeymooning, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands? The weather is beautiful. That's going to change in a big way Thursday and Friday as this feature moves in. We'll see the heavy rains, the strong gusty winds, and the very rough seas. As we take it to the tropical East Pacific, it's a beautiful day here in the Mexican Riviera. Fine stretch of weather for you. Meanwhile, in the Far East, a monster storm. This is a typhoon. Could become a super typhoon. Its name is Diane Mu. It's in between Guam and the Philippines. Take a look at that. That's the eye. All the upward motion. There's got to be a place where it sinks, and it's right in the center. And this is where you have those winds of about 140 miles an hour sustained. So here's another view of it. This is forecast to pull its way north for the next couple of days. And eventually, it could get close to Japan in about five to seven days. This is a monster. Good thing is, it's out over the open waters. Closer to home, we have a new severe thunderstorm. Watch out in eastern Colorado. It does include the Denver metropolitan area. Thunderstorms firing up off the front range, getting into the city here. You see the showers and thunder showers moving in from the west. Presently, nothing severe, but we do expect them to intensify during the next couple of hours. Hail and high winds, the big threats here. Could be a stormy evening in the high plains. While in the Midwest, severe weather has been ongoing. Along with severe weather comes flooding. We've been hard hit from Indiana to Ohio to Pennsylvania. Flood watches and ongoing flood warnings here. Very heavy rains. Tropical moisture to the south, remember that? That's colliding with the front. What we see is a line of intense rain that's popped on up. Coming into the Pittsburgh area, severe thunderstorm warnings now. Washington County, Brooke County, and West Virginia, and continuing in Jefferson County in eastern Ohio. So here you can see Pittsburgh severe weather coming in from the southwest. 
going to the ball game tonight. Not looking good for the Buckos. Meanwhile, in Columbus, we've seen the heavy rain, the flooding in New Albany. We've seen the severe weather too. And here in Indiana, heavy rain and flooding coming in uh, right to the, the heart of the, the state here around Indianapolis. Looks like a nightmarish ride home here. There'll be widespread flooding of the streets. St. Louis, you've been okay. Storms to the north of us, storms to the south, but off to the west. Uh, we do see uh, the thunderstorms uh, continuing around I-44. So if you head down towards Rolla, you'll hit some pretty heavy rains here. Northeast, the westerly winds kept it warm and dry in Boston. It's 88. Meanwhile, quiet in New York, but we'll be watching these thunderstorms brewing to the west. Here you can see them. Heavy rains where you see the yellow bearing down on the southern suburbs of D.C. Could be a real tough commute. And I-81, not a good ride this evening with torrential rains around Roanoke and up towards the Fred, uh, up towards the Winchester area. Charlotte, we've seen some rain around today. Heavier downpours down to the south and severe weather headed towards Naples as the thunderstorms move west down Alligator Alley. Local on the 8th coming up. During the Civil War, soldiers would start their campfires by blowing through their gun barrels into the heart of the fire. This time-honored technique can now be enjoyed once again thanks to the fire dragon. Simply the most effective way of quickly and easily starting and reviving a fire. Get cooking faster on your barbecue and never again struggle to light those chimneys or campfires. Use the fire dragon once and you'll be talking about it forever. We guarantee it. Oh. What did the doctor say? He said the best thing for my arthritis pain is to keep moving my knee throughout the day. But it hurts when you move. I know, but the doctor said I should take a leave. But we've always taken Tylenol. Well, Tylenol can wear off in the middle of the day. A leave can work all day, so I can keep moving. Doctors know a leave has the strength to relieve arthritis pain for up to 12 hours. That a leave's got you moving again. All day without pain. Do you know how good that feels? <laughs> a leave. Ready or not, here I come. Uh -huh. Orbitz makes it easy to find your Orlando vacation. To find your hotel by location, price, or star rating, just Orbitz and go. <laughs> Gerber brings grins and giggles to bath time. What more can I say? Shouldn't your baby be a Gerber baby? Notify by the Weather Channel will call you, wake you, anytime, anywhere you ask us to. Get a warning. Get notified by the Weather Channel for a free trial of our new personalized service. Call 1-888-WEATHER. The Weather Channel is brought to you by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this radio station or newspaper. Currently, the temperature is 86 degrees under mostly cloudy skies.
forecast for your area. your extended forecast. You're watching the Weather Channel. Live by it. Houston sees yet more rain today. Look out for street flooding. We'll detail how a lot of golf moisture will make for a rainy few days across most of the south. And take a look at what some really hot weather did to a section of I-40 near Oklahoma City. How hot will you get today? Live from the Weather Channel, this is Afternoon Outlook. Hello and welcome to this edition of Afternoon Outlook. I'm Jeff Morrow. And I'm Vivian Brown. Now, in addition to the stormy weather over the midsection of the country, over the past few days, we've seen some pretty hot weather, too. In fact, hot weather is being blamed for damaging some roads. This is a section of Interstate 40 outside of Oklahoma City. The heat caused an expansion joint there to buckle. There were some traffic headaches as repairs were being made. Traffic had to be rerouted, but drivers should not encounter problems this evening. Let's check out some of those high temperatures from Monday. Oklahoma City getting up to 93 degrees. Wichita all the way up to 94. And then you get into the triple digit stuff there. Amarillo and Lubbock, Texas both hitting 101. You're not feeling as hot today because of cloud cover. The record high for Oklahoma City yesterday, 106. Well, you aren't getting a break from the stormy weather in the Midwest. In association with a slow-moving frontal boundary, that means continued storms and concerns about flooding. In fact, flood watches have been issued over a good part of the Midwest in the Ohio Valley, from eastern Nebraska into central Iowa, and stretched all the way now into Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Even the state of West Virginia, flood watches have been issued because this area won once again, we're looking at storms and some could turn severe. Now, the better risk of severe weather is here outlined in the red. And actually, we could extend this a little farther west to include the eastern parts of Colorado because that's where a severe thunderstorm watch has been issued at this time. More details on that coming up in a moment. High pressure kind of keeping it quiet for now for Detroit and Milwaukee and Chicago. Most of the activity has been near this front. And this one, we think, will become more active as we go deeper into to the evening hours. Already on the Doppler regional radar, we have the storm starting to develop here, but right across the central parts of Indiana, that's where they have been most prominent. What a nightmare here in central Indiana, around the Indianapolis area. You go north of the city a little bit and you'll run into some very, very intense storms coming in from the west. A little bit closer inspection actually shows those storms near the Crawfordsville area and right down into downtown Indianapolis. So very heavy rain, dangerous lightning strikes associated with these storms, and this will be an all-day event, we think, these thunderstorms over the area. And even tomorrow, still targeting this region with stormy conditions from Indian Indianapolis to St. Louis and even back toward Kansas City for your Wednesday. That's a look at the upper Midwest. Now let's check on parts of the south with Jeff. Well, you're seeing a lot of rain from all this Gulf moisture moving up from the Gulf of Mexico into places like Louisiana. And you don't want to be driving through these flood waters. It's possible you, possible you may encounter quite a few flooded roadways actually over the next few days. With all the rain in your forecast, please remember the phrase is turn around, don't drown. And here are just some of the representative rainfall tallies ending as of 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Pretty impressive stuff. Destin, Florida, some beach vacations being washed out there, I'm sure, with about four and a third inches. And a lot of flood watches have gone up in Texas and along the Emerald Coast of Florida and then right up the Appalachian Mountains and on up into Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Here you can see a broad spiral around our 
kind of tropical low pressure area which has made its way northbound and there is some lightning going on here too particularly in florida but look at the clusters out here in texas first off though i wanted to show you the atlanta metropolitan area all this tropical moisture headed north the rush hour starting off on a very wet note particularly the west side of atlanta the perimeter is going to be a mess and look at this heavy rain wow we've got a big line just northwest of houston watch out for more flooding potential just west of Houston as we head on through the evening. And our forecast as we head on into tomorrow, more of the same. Yuck. Now let's head northeast. Here's Vivian. Well, it's warmer today in the northeast than yesterday. Places like Boston, New York City in the mid 80s at this hour. You know, yesterday at this time, we were only in the 70s, certainly in Boston. 86 in New York City currently, 84 in Philadelphia. So the warmth has returned for most areas. We still have fair skies across northern New England. But as you head a little farther south and west, notice how the storms start to pick up here. This part of the front a little more active than this part. In fact, this region, of the frontal boundary will kind of swing off the New England coast. Not a lot of fanfare with it as tomorrow high pressure will build in its wake and partly cloudy skies, Boston, New York, but more storms from Philly to D.C. back to Pittsburgh and Detroit with highs like this. Now we have a severe thunderstorm watch in eastern Colorado. We do indeed, Vivian, including the Denver metropolitan area right on down I-25 to Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Actually, lightning strikes extend all the way back here, even into parts of Southern California. But our severe weather threat just starting to begin here along the front range. You can see no thunderstorms around Denver yet. And it looks like temperatures because of the clouds and the rain, a little bit cooler, although still 84 in Denver. And L.A., after some morning clouds, has improved up to 72 degrees. Watch out for more thunderstorms with a stalled out front near Denver tomorrow, a high only 59. Okay, we'll take a look at your rain chances as well as let you know how hot it'll get over the next seven days in the weekly planner. And our storm analyst takes a closer look at why it's been such a stormy spring for some of you. Stay tuned. This program was brought to you by the new Chevrolets, 10 new cars and trucks in 20 months, an American revolution. Do you have the right truck? The best-selling half-ton regular and extended cab is now available as a crew cab. It's got more standard horsepower, more torque, and more towing capacity than Ford or Dodge half-ton crews. Introducing the new Silverado half-ton crew. It's the right truck from Chevy. For the best protection against water damage, one name says it all. Thompson's Water Seal, waterproofer plus wood protector for the highest level of water protection guaranteed. Thompson's Water Seal and Thompson's Water Seal Advanced, the most powerful protection against water damage. Want to help dry skin naturally? Start feeling your oats with new Lubriderm Skin Nourishing Lotion. With natural oat extract, it helps dry skin absorb and retain moisture. So, it's naturally healthy. New Lubriderm Skin Nourishing Lotion. Let's say your hunting dog is coming into season. Well, you don't want more hunting dogs? You better fence her up. Let's show them how. And that's how a guy protects a lady's honor. He keeps his place from going to the dogs. Go on, you dogs, get. Go on. Get. Whoops, Daisy, not you. So, what seems to be the trouble? Well, Doc, ever since Ditech.com came out with their $395 flat fee, I keep seeing the numbers 395 everywhere I go. Okay, let's check you out. Just read the chart. There it is again! Want to refinance your mortgage and cash out some equity? Get a $395 flat fee home loan from Ditech.com. Lost another one to Ditech. Ditech.com. Call 1-800-DITECH-1. Storm stories tonight at 8 on the Weather Channel. And now, here's your local on the 8. Currently, the temperature is 86 degrees under hazy skies.
your forecast. Expect a chance of thunderstorms Thursday through Saturday with temperatures in the 80s on Thursday. Well, it's been a pretty stormy six weeks across the U.S. We've had nearly 900 severe weather reports on one day alone in late May. And uh, let's go to our storm analyst because he'll take a look at why we've seen such stormy weather. Tornadoes have been reported on 27 of the last 28 days in the lower 48, with 20 or more reports on 10 of those days. Now, May and June are supposed to be busy severe weather times. On average, they do get the most tornadoes. May leads with a 10-year average of nearly 290, June 2nd with an average of around 220. So in an average year, about 500 tornadoes would form in those two months. Now this year and last year, way above that, preliminary tornado reports around 715 since May 1st, plus another nearly 8,000 reports of damaging straight line wind and large hail. Compared to the same period last year, which of course includes the record setting May, this year's numbers are just as impressive. Now the distribution of tornadoes since May 1st is skewed farther north than what would be typical for May and early June. Relatively low number in Oklahoma, Texas, and Arkansas, for example. The most tornado reports in Nebraska, Iowa and Kansas. One of those Kansas twisters touched down in Sumner County over the weekend. This white tornado, it looks that way because of the dark background and the way it's being lit by the sun, violently tore up a house and threw enormous amounts of debris into the air. Now the more northern tornado hotspots the last month and a half, the result of a persistent and fast northern jet stream. This has allowed Gulf moisture to come well north and a wavering front just to the south of that jet has provided a focus to tap those strong winds and the moisture. And those speedy high altitude winds across the northern states and plenty of low level moisture across the south will stay the same much of the rest of the week. And that tandem makes it likely that we'll continue to see at least some organized severe weather each day this week. Now back to you. And as we start our weekly planner, let's see if the pattern will change a little bit. As Dr. Neese was telling us, it's been a very stormy one here through the Midwest and all this tropical moisture being pumped up from the Gulf of Mexico. It's been keeping it rather wet and unsettled here. There are indications though that things may change a little bit here. More of a trough may be trying to dig here at least into the uh, inner mountain west, at least east of the divide anyway, and really getting kind of hot as a high pressure ridge builds along the west coast. Sunny skies into most of southern California and the desert southwest. Now we have a big sporting event going on from Thursday through Sunday. It's the U.S. Open Golf Championship at Shinnecock Hills Golf Club there at Southampton, New York. And it looks like we'll be dodging the raindrops if you're uh, in the gallery or if uh, the players, I was going to say if you're a player, if you're a player and you're watching, yeah, you may have to dodge those raindrops as well, maybe even a little bit of thunder and lightning. We have a series of these frontal boundaries crossing through the north, each one of which has a batch of showers and locally heavy thunderstorms. We saw that yesterday moving on by. That front moves by and brings us a little shot of drier and cooler air for places like New York City and Boston and Albany as we head through the day Wednesday. Uh, probably pretty good for a golf game here on Wednesday. However, new front into the Midwest and all this tropical moisture in place over the south starts to move back up, kind of gets drawn to the northeast. So the golf game might not be as good an idea on Thursday in the far northeast. And it looks like you'll be dodging the raindrops in many areas over the mid-south as well. That front settles. And again, this time of the year, these fronts don't penetrate very far to the south. It stalls out and again, provides a conduit for more showers and thunderstorms or a focusing area for them back into the plains ahead of yet the next system moving across. Throughout this time period, this big high continues to build in the west, which is not atypical for this time of the year, keeping it hot and dry. More scattered showers and storms in the southeast and northern plains. Temperature-wise, well, as each one of these fronts goes by, it does cool us off a little bit. You can see how the 80s are trying to hold on in the northeast on Thursday. 
And you can see a little bit of a cool down here for places like Pittsburgh and Chicago, highs in the 70s. In the 50s and 60s here across parts of the Dakotas and Minnesota, still very humid and 80s and some 90s where we get a bit more in the way of sunshine over the deep south. That lasts through the weekend with the coolest of air around the Great Lakes and then moving back into New England. Some highs only in the 60s and 70s there, which has been pretty typical for the spring so far on Monday. Well, stay with us. We'll check out your travel forecast next. Red flag warnings are up for some Midwest lakes. We'll tell you why it's not such a great time to be in the water there coming up. thing to love about Outback, where you can enjoy our crispy coconut shrimp and our royal port catch. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. Visit our website for the Outback Steakhouse nearest you. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. The worse my congestion got, the longer my route took. Now, I'm clear to go. I thought my old allergy medicine cleared up my symptoms, but Claire indeed helped me find another level of clear. Claire and clear. Clarit and Clear means non-drowsy relief from your worst symptoms, even congestion. I used to focus on my sinus pressure, not the game. But Claret and D gave me powerful prescription strength relief. Non-drowsy 24-hour Claret and D. There's Clear, then there's Claritin and Clear. Claritin, and non-drowsy Claritin now available without a prescription. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what? They're interested in the house? That's great! <laughs> now? No, now it's not a good time. Not a no. Now working with the Century 21 agent. Pledge point number four. Century 21 agents value and respect your time. You're where? Just one of the ways to help reduce the stress of selling real estate. Century 21. Real estate for your world. It's about life. American-made Dixie Chopper is the world's fastest stainless steel body. Zero-turn commercial mower, able to cut 9 to 10 acres in an hour. With their warranties, you have nothing to lose. Take the Dixie Chopper Challenge today at UD Sales and Service. TV is proud to announce that they have reopened at the same location. Miller will now continue their 50-year tradition of providing Columbus with the finest quality televisions and accessories. Come in and be amazed by the depth and clarity of a plasma LCD or DLP TV. We have all the latest high-definition and analog sets by RCA and Zenith. Miller TV also can service all of the products we sell at our in-house repair shop. For 50 years, Miller's TV has backed each sale with prompt, courteous, expert service. Take your home entertainment to the next level with Miller TV. Storm Stories, tonight at 8 on the Weather Channel. And now, here's your local on the 8s. Currently, the temperature is 86 degrees under hazy skies. forecast.
Expect a chance of thunderstorms Thursday through Saturday with temperatures in the 80s on Thursday. Thanks for tuning in to Afternoon Outlook here on the Weather Channel. It's time now to check out your travel conditions and how afternoon thunderstorms will affect your flight. Well, we do have delays across much of the east from Boston to Newark's airport, even as far west as Chicago. Over an hour delay if you're flying into, out of O'Hare's airport and over the deep south, including Atlanta, over an hour and a half, even Dallas, almost an hour delay being reported. And you can see why we have thunder storms scattered all across the southeast into the Ohio Valley. Some of these storms could turn severe, meaning large hailstones and very, very heavy rain. There is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for the eastern parts of Colorado. We'll talk about that in a moment, but let's kind of zoom in on Houston, where we're noticing a line of storms develop just to the north and west of town. Now, officially in downtown Houston, no reports of rain right now, but good news for you, Houston, because driving through Houston could be hazardous as we go deeper into the evening the region is seeing some thunderstorms scattered around the region right now you're prone you're prone to flash flooding you know that houston so the region is really saturated with all the rain you've gotten lately sunday metro houston saw almost four inches of rain now a flood watch has been issued around the houston area extending up into dallas and everywhere you see the green on this map flood watches are in effect which includes the panhandle of florida as you travel along interstate Day 10. And not only I-10, but I-20 and even Interstate 55, which takes you northward along the Mississippi River all the way to Chicago. As you can see, once again, the National Satellite Picture and Radar shows all of the thunderstorms blossoming over the southeast in the Ohio Valley and the threat of severe weather everywhere you see the red on this map, including eastern Colorado, where again, there is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect at this time. Now, tomorrow, more thunderstorms will be scattered all across this general area so be prepared if you have travel plans particularly over the south and uh, we'll kind of focus on interstate 20 because from Atlanta as you go westward through the Birmingham area you may encounter some afternoon thunderstorms and even a little farther west now keeping on westward toward the Shreveport area as well as Dallas well that's your travel forecast now here's Jeff he has your getaway forecast Vivian, each weekday, obviously at this time, we'll check out some great vacation destinations. It's Tuesday, so we're checking out some island getaways. This time of year, you want to keep an eye out for any tropical activity, of course. And, uh, well, actually, first we're going to check out some flight delays, I guess. <laughs> and you can see Atlanta, Cincinnati, and Denver all having some flight delays. There we go with our vacation destinations. And we settle in on Tuesday with our island getaways. All right, this time we're going to talk about Hamilton in Bermuda and the weather there, picture perfect. Doesn't look like any tropical activity to worry about. And in the Cayman Islands, looks like some showers, but still rather hot on Wednesday and then drying out during the day on Thursday. Now here's Vivian. She has more on your current weather conditions nationwide. And a look again at the threat of thunderstorms that could turn severe everywhere you see the red on this map. That's what storms could turn severe and we mean large hailstones, gusty winds, torrential downpours are likely and this includes the eastern parts of Colorado and as you see Denver you are included in the severe thunderstorm watch. Noticing the radar out of the area which does indicate some activity starting to develop around the Denver area. So we're watching you very closely Denver in eastern Colorado and more thunderstorms spread across the Ohio Valley and all across the southeast. Again, thunderstorms popping up just about everywhere. We'll talk with our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons, in about 25 minutes about how a disturbance in the Gulf coming ashore will affect you. And many of you will be encountering flash flooding in the next few days. So you don't want to drive through water, of course, that's covering the roadways. We'll talk more about this coming up. Ah, spring weather. Warm, sunny days, showers, blooming flowers, and termite swarms? That's right. Subterranean termites swarm in the spring on warm, sunny, calm days following a light rain. These conditions trigger winged reproductive termites to leave their underground nests to form new colonies. Swarms are brief and sporadic, making it unlikely that you'll ever witness this phenomenon. 
but you can encounter evidence of termite activity. If you find discarded termite wings on an interior windowsill, it could be an indication of a recent termite swarm and that you may have an active infestation in your house. When this happens, you should call a termite control professional for an inspection and a termite control program. Check the termite swarm map on weather.com slash Terminex for reports about termite swarming in your state. This program was brought to you by Terminex. Test problems? Call 1-800-TERMINEX and get their exclusive problem solved guarantee. season Terminix them with our exclusive problem solved guarantee 1-800 Terminix Mr. Goodwrench you're fast but I'm gonna get you just how fast are you guys in the pits we changed two tires in eight seconds a little healthy competition for the elusive Mr. Goodwrench well if Mr. Goodwrench does your brakes rotates your tires and checks your engine what are you the team mascot I drive the car seriously what do you do find Mr. Goodwrench at over 7,000 GM dealerships nationwide License and registration, pal. What? Just kidding. That's nice. What is that, metal? <laughs> Gerber brings grins and giggles to bath time. What more can I say? Shouldn't your baby be a Gerber baby? This year, you can do your Father's Day shopping at the Home Depot. The one place you can find great advice on gifts for dad that go above and beyond. Like this handyman's favorite, a 160-piece Husky tool set for just $79.96. You can give dad power. You can give him wisdom.